What's going on guys? Eddie here, Cornhole Bag Reviews, back again with another review. It's been a while, so what better way to come back than with a Black Sheep Baggers review? You guys know I love the Costello. Now it's time for the Costello X. But before we get started, a couple shout outs here. We got the Gladiator Cornhole Glove. I love this thing, I can't throw without it. Code Eddie10 on Gladiator's website for anything, 10% uh, off of anything on their entire website. Uh, TNT Cornhole Boards, great boards, score towers. Uh, he makes a really quality product, so shout out to TNT. And uh, Sub-Zero Bag Co. And my uh, new bag company, haven't talked about it on the YouTube channel yet, but I'm gonna start talking about it a little bit more. Uh, Hand-sewn bags by me, designed by me, uh, produced with uh, all the materials that I deem as the best. So check out subzerobagco.com, code Eddie 5 for 5% off on there. But let's get to the Costello X. So Costello X is one of the, I think there's only two bags currently on the market that's utilizing this slow side. The other one is the WTF Kilo slightly different fast side on the Kilo, but Costello X, you're looking at that same Costello eight speed fast side with kind of a new carpet to the market, similar to a Viper R kind of variant, but uh, variant carpet, same on like the SW Bag Co. Heffy, Sub-Zero Wintertide. Um, there's a bunch of other companies that are using this that are non-stamp, but in terms of ACL Pro Stamp right now, you have the WTF Kilo and the Costello X. I call this about a 5.8 speed. They slow down a bit. Mine are probably playing my, like a three or a four speed now. When I got these things in the mail, I actually thought they were a little chunky. They were a little bit, they said they were, the template was a little bit smaller than the Costello, which worried me at first because I thought they were going to be too fat. I thought they were going to hang up around the hole. I've thrown a living crap out of these things because I love this material and I needed an ACL bag. These things are floppy now, like floppy, floppy, like OG Costello floppy, like super, super floppy. So if you're looking for this thing is not going to be your cut and roll bag. I mean, obviously all these kids now and pro players can roll flip in anything, but for a normal player, you're not going to be like puffy wizard roll bag type of carpet. This is going to be your going bag for bag, some push collects, collects really nice drips in the whole good airmail drag kind of bag. Uh, definitely going to run bags with this. Perks of this carpet that I'll, the reason a lot of people are starting to use it, if it's low humidity, high humidity, early in the day, late in the day, fast boards, slow boards, West Georgia boards, all cornhole boards, they play fairly similar all the time. Uh, if you get locked in in a tournament with these, similar to Viper R's and, and, and that kind of level of friendly carpet bag, you're gonna be locked in for almost the entire day. Uh, fill, you're looking at kind of like a mixed speed fill, not completely disc, but almost all disc. I feel a couple asymmetrical in there. It's definitely a mix. Um, Feels a little crunchy at first, once it's broken in, now it makes a really nice handle. Again, loose, so the beads tumble around in my hand a little bit. It's, I can tell it's not full disc because it's a little bit more tumbly in my hand. I can kind of shake some beads out. It's not as you know rock solid if it was just a pure flat disc. Still makes a really good handle, but you're gonna have to like to throw a floppy bag. You gotta really kind of get a good grip on it to get that solid handle on it. But let's throw some bags here. You know, it wouldn't be in Eddie's Cornhole, Cornhole Bag Reviews video if I didn't have tons of excuses. So, you know, I'm working on a new throw. It's windy. I don't know, list another couple excuses in the comments I can use for later, but we'll try to throw the best that we can here. My neighbor just ended up walking through, so I had to cut the video here for a sec, but one of the reasons I haven't been posted in a while is I switched up my grip, so I'm throwing butterfly now. And uh, my consistency just has not been there at all. Uh, so it's been harder for me to want to post when I'm not super consistent, but Costello X, has been one of my go-to ACL bags. I thought that was a Corbin. We're gonna try to throw a big push here. See, it's just, I don't know why I can't get rid of that right to left angle. It's like everybody else has that left to right angle on their bag and now I'm like over rotating or something. I can't seem to get rid of it. Uh, but this bag, so when it, you first get it in the mail, it's gonna be nice and quick. Probably gonna do that whole melty kind of stuff that you see in the WTF Kilo ads, like there, like that should, you know, in the Kilo ads, that's like, melting in and stuff. It's not gonna be super melt. It's still a melty, nice collect bag. It's definitely gonna slow down just a tad once you get these broken in. So like that, I'm not, I'll go for an airmail hill, why not? That's gonna be left, ah, a little deep. But, so like that, you know, it's definitely gonna slow down. I've beaten up the crap out of these things, throwing them in tons of events. That's why they're nice and floppy now, but it's gonna definitely turn into more of a control bag, mid-speed bag. Got to have a decently flat bag to throw it. They will give you more forgiveness than a traditional carpet bag, but um, it's definitely not going to be, you know, your pro sniper level forgiveness, Costello level forgiveness, if your bag's not flat. Like, see my bag right to left there and uh, got punished for it. But 
Okay, we'll go for another airmail drag here, why not? A little short again. Uh, but I really enjoy my time with these things. Again, you have to like somewhat of a flop your bag. If you used to throw in like puffed up wizards or something, you know, these aren't gonna be the bag for you if you like it fuller. This is definitely gonna be more of a, similar to like an OG Costello um, in the floppiness category. Um, if you like the way kind of those floppier bags throw, you'll definitely like your time with these. Um, trying to get rid of that right to left angle on my bag. It's a little better. But again, just nice and easy bag to throw. Ooh, nice little melter for the four piece. But um, overall, I mean, this is gonna be people that like, you know, like a Viper R type bag. I would say this, uh, the material feels a little bit different in hand. For me, plays just a tick slower. I'm able to uh, control it a little bit more on the boards. Um, I like this fast side. I like the Viper R fast side too. Uh, Pro Sniper fast side, but I just like this Costello fast side. It's just a little bit more controllable, a little bit easier to kind of do what you want with it. Man, how does that kick to the left that much? Boards are a little bit uneven that way too, and then that one doesn't kick. Throw it on in the comments below if you got any, got any advice on my throw. You know, I haven't been recording in a while, so I haven't got to look at it in a bit, but you know, maybe try to go back to the old grip with a throw of some kind, <laughs> the step over. But either way, these things have been a joy for me to throw. Would de definitely recommend anyone who likes somewhat of a friendly, car friendly carpet. See, that was a nice little grab there. Just nice and easy to throw right up the board. You hit the center of the board, do these things, these things are gonna go true right up for you. Again, not as bouncy. You know, you're not gonna be doing crazy roll shots with these things. They'll, they airmail drag super nice, I actually find with the uh, fast side being a tick slower and the slow side being a tick slower than Viper R sometimes. When I'm going for pushes, you know, I'm, I'm able to grab it a little easier than I am a Viper R or a Sorcerer per se. I feel like those kind of push each other around. These kind of grip each other nicely. That's gonna caught on me. Yeah, had some angle on it. That's okay though. Nice and friendly. They're not gonna overcut. That's gonna go left. A little off the back, no, no four piece for me, but come down here one more time. I mean, you can get the feel of it. If you like a friendly carpet bag, you know what, you guys know I love Black Sheep's bags. Love the design that we got done on these bags. Show the design right there. Beautiful graffiti Costello X design with my logo on them, but. But if you're looking for a nice and friendly carpet bag and maybe you don't like what Ultra's been doing with their, you know, with their bags lately, or you just want a different option, this can give you another option in that friendly carpet realm that maybe you hadn't thought of before. I know that I really like my time with them. You guys know that I love Black Sheep products. So just once they came out with a carpet bag, I knew that I'd be in. But sorry, I hung up a little bit on the last bag there. But Costello X, guys, friendly carpet bag. Got that awesome eight speed fast side that we know and love on their Blackwaters and their Costellos and their OG2s. They love using this fast side. And I know why, plays really, really nice. Um, good price point, I think they're around 90 bucks on Black Sheep's website, but Pro Stamp, uh, only one of two bags using this material and only one using this fast side. Really like it for a nice melty carpet option. Uh, another option to like a Sorcerer or a Viper R from the Black Sheep lineup. And you guys know how much I love Black Sheep. So don't hesitate to pick yourself a set of these today if you need a Pro Stamp bag with and you like this kind of material. So, um, you know, appreciate you guys stopping by for another review. If you like this stuff, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you have a great rest of your day and rest of your week. Catch you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.